Hi guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Today we are here with the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa game. Today we are starting our African runs with multiple African teams for AFCON and today I've decided to go with Mauritania. Mauritania are quite a special team. The reason being is because they only feature on the 2010 game. You can't find them on the 2014 game. You can't find them on the 2006 game. They're not on any new FIFAs. They're not on any older FIFAs either. They're only on this game. To my knowledge, anyway. I'm not sure if they're on pairs or anything like that. I doubt it. But Mauritania, they have... I think the reason being is because they have like taking themselves out of contention for qualifying in the past. In 2010 they didn't, obviously, because they're on this game. But in 2014 they did, and it's only just recently they've started to compete in tournaments such as the Arab Cup and um, also uh, AFCON 2022. They will feature there. So we're going to randomise the teams that are in there. I'm not going to put any in there. I'm just going to randomise it. There we go. And we're going to randomise... Well, it's going to be a random group stage anyway because it's not going to be true to life at all, is it? So boom. There we go. And we got a group. Spain, Algeria and Finland. So a very tough group, I'd say. Spain, obviously the toughest opponents. Algeria and Finland, sort of mid teams back then. Maybe Algeria slightly stronger than Finland, but we'll see how we get on. So it feels kind of pointless, but we're going to check the squad and see if we recognize any players. I don't recognize too many players. There is a star player here. I mean, maybe you guys can recognize some of the players from um, Mauritania, possibly. I'm not sure, but there's all these guys here, and I have no clue who they are, but they are rated around about 40 50-ish, there's no players in the 60s, so that's a little bit concerning. And as always, just to let you know, I am playing on Legendary difficulty. I know that people don't say I don't play on Legendary, but I just feel like sometimes I have to remind people, you know, remind people of what difficulty I'm playing on. Here we go then, the first match is against Finland, so I, I reckon if I play well, I can definitely beat Finland. Only if I play well. It's going to be extremely difficult to get Mauritania on form. The only game I've seen Mauritania play in like uh, on TV uh, is against Syria in the Arab Cup and I think I think they drew against them or they won against them or something like that and it knocked Syria out of the Arab Cup alongside Mauritania. So it's nice to see that Mauritania has started to uh, compete in these tournaments. I don't know why they pulled out of tournaments in the past. Maybe it was due to unrest in the country or something like that. I'm not too sure. I have already done a run with Mauritania in the past, but it was two years ago and it wasn't on legendary difficulty. I'm fairly sure it was, it was on a uh, world class difficulty. I need this guy to go through and he has. Come on. Oh, goalkeeper got it. He didn't have enough pace, but we could have scored early on and that would have been a fantastic start. Go on, Ely. Use that strength. He has used it. And um, it hits the side netting. I was kind of hoping the goalkeeper would palm it. But Mauritania are enjoying it right now. They've had two shots. Looking very lively in the first 15 minutes or so. We're going to be doing all African nations throughout January. So if you've got any suggestions that aren't African, I'm sorry. But they'll have to wait until after AFCON. Because it just makes sense to do... African nations drawing an African tournament. I feel like if we don't beat Finland here, I think that will be confined to a group stage exit. It feels like Mauritania right now, if I'm going from early impressions, are a little bit all over the place. I don't think they have like a proper structure or proper formation. I mean, they do have a formation, obviously, but just doesn't feel like most of the players are actually in position. Oh, that's an injury. He's injured my striker, and that's only a yellow card. That was made with bad intent, and Langley has been injured in this one. That's a bit of a shame, because that's one of my better strikers, I feel. Martinia. Oh, hacked out of the box twice. Oh, that was a risky play by Finland, especially when they're already on a yellow card, and they stopped me from scoring. I thought I was bound to score then, but... No, they saved their own skin with a really fantastic tackle, you must be said. That pass was horrible. What's going on there? Oh my goodness, Johansson is going through and he scores. He just stopped in front of the keeper and had to play it. And it is 1-0 to Finland. He stopped right in front of the keeper. 
and just shot and it went straight in. The play leading up to it was horrendous. The pass was not good enough. I don't understand why it was so underpowered. It's half time then and Finland lead 1-0 thanks to a strike from Johansson. Crossed in, headed away. Back to Finland though. Lippmanen, he shoots, he scores. Nobody broke him down. Nobody sort of like tested him. And Yari Lippmanen scores to make it 2-0. And I think this game is getting more and more out of reach every time we make defensive plays. I mean, that wasn't a defensive error. I just headed it out. But nobody closed him down. Nobody got in front of him. And he was able just to just slot it in. And it is 2-0 to Finland. Crossed in. Header. And it's a goal. Sammy Herpia scores. I couldn't out-jump him. He's just too tall. And Mauritania are getting an absolute thrashing right now from Finland. I thought that Finland were going to be my easiest chance. Turns out it's not true at all. I mean, Herpia, great towering header. My goalkeeper couldn't get it. And I think this run is already over before it's even started. Oh, come on. That's got to be a red card. He tripped over him. Sammy Herpia has been sent off for Finland. There is still hope for a couple of goals in this game from Mauritania. I feel that was kind of harsh because I jumped over the tackle and then obviously I um, bumped into her here. Mauritania, oh my goodness, I thought that went in. I thought that cleared the goalkeeper and went straight in. No, hits the bar, unlucky Mauritania. Here comes Ely, he doesn't score. I was trying to get the angle and he just messed it up. We've had chances, but we have been the creators of our own downfall in this uh, match. Come on, Mauritania, you can do it. Come on, someone needs to go forward. Oh, this guy, he's got forward, he shoots, he scores! That was brilliant, that was brilliant. It was a consolation goal, a defensive lapse of Finland, and Sadibi, the substitute, scores to make it 3-1 on the scoreboard. A little bit of pride restored. Through ball to Sadibi. Sadibi, Sadibi, oh, straight the goalkeeper, come on. I just can't catch half of these players up. Like, most of my defence just cannot defend. How does Finland almost score from that angle? We'll never know. And there we go. We lost 3-1 to Finland. It was a pretty poor performance on the face of it. I thought that at the start I could have Finland. We had our chances, but we just couldn't score until the 80th minute where um, Sadibi scored for us. But... It's going to be a rocky road, I think, the second game. It's going to be a tough match against Algeria or Spain. So our second match is definitely going to be one that we're going to lose. It's Spain. Definitely going to get knocked out of this World Cup, I think. So it's just all about trying to grab a goal against Spain, trying to perform well against them. We haven't started off well, and we're definitely not going to get a win against Spain because they've already beaten Algeria. Oh, hello. Here comes De Silva. He doesn't have the pace or the strength to hold off Spain, but it was a rare attack from Mauritania. Kamara, he goes for it. Ooh, okay. I know that Spain are playing a few reserves, like they got Mata on right now, and I don't think they would have played Mata. Here comes De Silva, he's against Pirol, and it looks like I'm holding him off. Shot. It's a, oh, I was about to say, it looked like it went straight into the back of the net, but he missed. De Silva is looking very, very promising. Through ball. Here comes Ely. Ely's going for on goal, but there's two defenders catching him up. Use that pace, use that strength, and press the B button. I'm pressing it. Why did it take so long? Oh my god, this game's teasing me. I want to win a game with Mauritania. I really want to, but not with plays like that. 33 minutes in, and I haven't conceded yet. Not yet, anyway. I'm trying so hard to press Spain and give them a good game. That was a really terrible pass. I hate that so much. Like... I don't know what's wrong with Mauritania. They seem extremely disjointed. Spain looking for this goal. They go for it over the bar. I thought they were going to try and nab one before half-time. And here we are at half-time with a nil-nil scoreline. Mauritania playing extremely well. I don't know why their fans are a little bit upset with this. They should be really happy about this. I don't know why Spain are happy. I'd be, if I was a Spanish coach, I'd be fuming in that, that locker room. Here comes De Silva. He's got no stamina, but he's got past Piol. Here we go. This is a chance. It's a goal. Mauritania scored, and it's 1-0. It's Ely who scores, and surprisingly, Mauritania taking the lead against Spain. Insane play. Look at this. Look at this play. 
when I passed it here, I was like, 100% going to get tackled. But no, it was a fantastic play. And Mauritania, surprisingly, find themselves 1-0 up against Spain. I love moments like this where you get a small team to get score against the big team. I love it so much. And hopefully now we can hold on. Get it to... Oh, that pass was just off. Hang on. What is Spain doing there? That finesse shot was just terrible. What is going on? No, you don't. Oh, no. David is going through. He's going to score, isn't he? He's going to score. He has. I can't catch him up. I can't catch him up. And he celebrates like he's won the World Cup final. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Mauritania were way better in this game than Spain. Spain were extremely poor in this match. They've still got two minutes. And my defence just feel like they're just miles out of stamina. It might be game over. It is. An impressive draw for Mauritania. But still... I mean, we were winning. We were absolutely winning that match. But this should help our form. It's just so frustrating because I was winning that game and I only had like two minutes left and then it had to be David Villa, didn't it? If it was one matter, I would have like caught him up and tackled him. So we're in a bit of a tricky situation, really, because even if we do beat Algeria, we're go only going to get four points. Whereas Finland, I've already got six points. And I think that Spain will probably beat Finland. So that means Spain will have seven, Finland will have six, and then I will have four and I'll still get knocked out. So it's do or die for Mauritania here against one of their African rivals, Algeria. I still think Algeria might beat me. Realistically, they probably will. But um, I'm holding on to hope because we drew against Spain and um, we've got to hope that the other result somehow goes our way with Finland beating Spain. Imagine if we did steal that second spot from Spain. That would be incredible. Header, please catch that. Thank you. Sometimes those headers loop into the back of the net. Because Ely, Spain have gone 1-0 up, so already we're facing elimination. I'm, I think I'm being a little bit too harsh on Mauritania. They are a half-star team. I just, I can see potential in them. Like, there is potential for them to be good. It's just defensively, they are all over the place. Look at that. One through ball and Jabal is through and he scores. Come on, like, that is so bad. That is a bad goal to concede. One through ball and Jabor just went straight through and scored. And it's 1-0 to Algeria. So currently, we are definitely going out. Even this result for Algeria really doesn't matter. Because they'll get knocked out as well. The only change that will happen in the group stage is that they will move up to third and I'll go down to fourth. All they need to do is one through ball. And I just don't think that the Algerian... No, sorry, the... I just don't think the Mauritania defence is really set up that well because, honestly, we just gave away another poor goal. We couldn't clear it. I mean, he crossed it in. It gets cleared away like that. He chests it down and I get stolen from it instantly. Like, I couldn't even, like, make a play because he was already in the chest motion. He couldn't even do anything about it and they score. Okay, so Finland have now drawn against Spain. Of course that would happen when I'm already 2-0 down. Spain have gone 2 1 up now, so normal service is resumed. We're trying to make our way past, but we just got shrugged off the ball. And Algeria are leading 2 0 at half time. Here we go, Algeria are pressing. Here comes Ziani, crosses it in. That's bound to be a goal. Yet yeah, there was no defenders there really to stop him. And that's it, that's safety that scores, or safety, however you say it. And that's 3 0. We're getting battered right now, we're battered and bruised. Mauritania's frustrations are leaking out from their fan base. They do not like this one bit. To this guy. Shot. Oh, I mean, it was just a weak shot. Nice play, though, by Mauritania. Crossed in by Algeria. That's perfect. That is actually perfect. And that's 4-0. I mean, it went over the top of my whole defence. Magini scores. And it's 4-0. I mean, my defence were all bunched together. I don't know what they're doing. They're all running around like headless chickens. I don't understand it. Jabor's going through. I can't stop him. He's going to score. I'm just going to let him score. I don't even care anymore. I mean, it's just embarrassing. The defence is embarrassing. I know it's a half-star team. I know it's Mauritania. They're not a brilliant side. But still, I expected better in this game. Oh, there's a penalty. There we go. We got, we got a chance to get a goal. And um, I'm going to score it with my goalkeeper. I don't even care. If I, if I, don't, if I don't score, then it's my fault. Suleimani. Suleimani. Yes, he scores. And that is 5-1. The goalkeeper celebrates. 
and Mauritania are down only 5-1 now. <laughs> right, I scored with the goalkeeper. What do you want me to do? So, despite me going out of this World Cup on a whimper, at least my goalkeeper scored. So, you can have that, Algeria. You can take that and put it into the books that Mauritania's goalkeeper scored a penalty against you. Cross that in. That's not a bad ball. Oh, the header wasn't good enough. Of course, he's not going to score that, is he? And Mauritania go out of this World Cup. We have scored some goals. We have scored in every match that we played in in this World Cup. I mean, yeah, OK, we got well beaten by Finland. We drew against Spain, which was very, very good. And then in this match, we... I don't know what happened to us. But we scored with our goalkeeper. So I, I think morally, I am the winner. So let's see who wins this World Cup. Argentina beat England 2-0 in the final and Mexico beat Finland 3-1 in the third place playoff. Anyway guys, I really hope that you did enjoy this run with Mauritania on legendary difficulty. I've done two Mauritania runs now, this one and I've done one about two years ago. You can go and check that out if you want to. All you have to do is type in Mauritania and the name of my channel and it'll probably come up. Um, if you did somehow like this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.